And so, now what I can tell you, as we get reports back from different colonies, this works a little different. It's never ever the same in every colony. Some colonies see this, some colonies see that. And what it is, it depends on what the base of your mineral content and the nutritional content of your grain is. Is what you're seeing and what's happening. And so, a year ago, in January, we started uh, at Milford and we were putting in a new barn and so Levi took over the old barn, right Ed? And so I said, you know, Ed and I had been talking and we said, let's try the culture on the birds. And so Levi said, I'll, I'll kind of keep track of what's going on and I'll kind of keep you posted. And so this is what, when we started this, we had some older birds and we had some younger birds. And so we started out with a quart of culture per ton and a pound of mineral per ton. And we, at the beginning of the program, we, the production was anywhere between just a little over 11 to just under 11,400 eggs a day. When we got into it just a little bit, the egg production had gone up, and one of the biggest things was the soft shells. And so we were getting upwards of 200 a day. We got that down to about 10. But the first thing that we had noticed with this particular type of feed was, I remember Levi called me and he says, birds don't like your stuff. And I said, birds really do like our probiotic. Because if you give a bowl of water and a bowl of probiotic to a chicken, it will rarely drink the water. It will drink this stuff straight. And baby chicks love this stuff. You can't keep a chicken, a hog, or a cow out of this stuff. And it's unpleasant tasting to me, but they love it. And so I said, Levi, I, I've raised too many chickens down here testing them. I know chickens and turkeys and everything likes the taste of this nasty stuff. And he says, well, they're not cleaning up their feed. I said, okay, good. So what was happening is I said, when you have a different microbial system, you digest differently you can digest better or digest worse. And I said, the job of these microbes is to take structures apart, put them into new compounds, and make more of it usable versus what is wasted out in the manure. And I said, so if we can change some feed efficiencies, then that's gonna be a benefit on the colony's revenue. And so what we did is, on the older birds, they probably took the largest drop right up front. They went from 1,500 to 1,000 pounds a day. The younger birds didn't drop down quite as far. But then in time, those numbers started moving back up a little bit. What Levi had noticed was there was a, a bit of an increase in egg production. Uh, this amount went on his grading were large or above. This was his medium small. These were his seconds. And now, and it depends on the grain mix that you have and the content in your grain. That's why we're gonna go into plants and how plants form nutrition, okay? So that you guys have a little bit better understanding of when you're looking at grains, what's in them, how they were grown, and if it's got any content for your birds yes. to use. Ed? What Levi noticed was just the change in the production and the, the, the better shells that were coming from it. And we got a little bit darker yolk on those. 
And one of the problems that Levi was telling me about was the runniness of the yolk, or, or the white, where the restaurants, or they didn't like it spreading out so far. They wanted it to stay a little bit more firm. And, and that's what we had noticed too. And then the, the, they were producing less manure because they were, one, eat, eating less, but wasting way, way less of what they ate. The ammonia levels went down. The feed consumption started coming back up on, on the birds. And then the lifespan began to actually increase on the production side. And so, Ed, did we miss? We got most of her, mm -hmm. and so. So I thought you were looking for more manure, and now you're now he's cutting back. Did you get that or I did it? The last I checked, eggs were still worth a little more per ton than manure was. So no one's complaining about the eggs versus the manure thing. Maybe the farm boss is, but not the guys making the eggs. And the other thing that we do in the cultures. We make our poultry culture different than the regular probiotic culture because we create an opportunity for our microbes when we ferment this and regrow this to create the bactericins that have a negative effect on our E. coli and salmonella type pathogens. And we don't do that in our other cultures. Ed? Yes, yeah, so what I've seen up there, on my side, the feed consumption definitely went down. The shell's awesome. But the birds, calmer and quieter birds, I think it's the opposite. I think it gives these birds a bunch of energy. <laughs> I'm, seeing, I'm seeing it on, on the little birds, on the chicks. Uh -huh. I've never had birds that jump like these birds are jumping. And they're eight, what are they, 10, nine weeks old? And we have over 6,000 birds in our top tier. We never had that. I mean, these birds can jump. I think it's giving them more energy. Okay. Well, th they should have more energy. And, and some, of the, some of the birds... could be. Some of the birds will actually settle down and be a little calmer. Other ones... Mike, up at Big Sky, he says... <clears throat> he says, my birds, he says, they're just as wired as they've ever been. <laughs> He says, they haven't piped down a bit. I said, well, sorry. <laughs> if I can, get back to the albumin. Yeah. That's, you know, it, it'll probably keep it together good too, but that's old age would cause a run game. Well, but when it does. And the thing is, is with the older birds, it's the same with older people. We do not assimilate nutrients as good as when we're older as we did when we were younger. And birds are no different. And so what we've, Levi's been experimenting with some of the older, older birds on increasing the mineral content from one pound to two pounds. And that's helped on some of the stuff that's in the bed. As you can ask my dad, we went from 26 pounds per bird down to 24 and a half. We, it, it's definitely doing something on the feed side. But I told Vic, the nutritionist, the other animal, what's going on. They're down to 24 and a half pounds, and they're still producing the same amount of meat. Yeah. Again, all we're going to really talk about mostly is the mineral content of things and the microbe side of things. Okay? And we're not going to move very far off of off of that discussion because this is what drives everything. The better we understand this and this, the more problems we eliminate and the better that organism will function. Because God did not design any living organism to be chemically dependent to stay alive. We're not designed that way. We're we don't get sick because we have a shortage of pharmaceuticals in our system. We get sick because we have an imbalance of minerals and we have a lack of microbes keeping us alive. There's some, and I think most of you guys, especially you guys on the poultry side, 
on the, have probably seen these articles on gut microflora and those kind of things that we've sent out. And it's, and it's actually the case where the microbes on this side are actually responsible for about 85% of our immunity. And that's a huge number. It isn't the antibiotic factor that's responsible for our immunity. It's not the vaccine factor. It's our intestinal microflora. And we can actually shift these groups into beneficial or pathogen type microbes by the things that we put in to that gut. Okay, we do it as humans. It happens to our livestock and everything else. So roughly, roughly, is if you take the cost of the culture, you take the cost of the minerals, we should be at $4 a day or a little bit less for the probiotic and the dynamite. It depends on if you're using a quart, you're using one pound of mineral per ton or, or two pounds, you're gonna be roughly that cost. And what we, on the organic guys, you guys have a lot higher feed bill. So your savings on feed are going to be a little bit more substantial than guys who are paying half the price for conventional grain. So we, we can find anywhere from about a 50 to a $200 a day advantage. And, and if we can, the other thing is if we can lengthen the production of the flock and maintain a profitable egg production period, we eliminate over a period of two or three years one cycle of birds, which is 50 to 60,000 to get them back up into production again. And so over time, there's some pretty good return, uh, death loss, feed savings, egg quality, bird longevity, it all comes back in. And the biggest factor in all of this is the consuming public these are the markets that are growing. More and more people are demanding antibiotic-free, organic type operations, and they're willing to pay for that. And so this is the opportunity and the direction that food is going. 